put it. All right. So what we have here is volume of Q, volume of shapes, basically. Volume of shapes. Volume of shapes or volume of solids. Please correct that. Now, the volume of a solid is the what? Is the measure of the amount of space. Amount of space it occupies. That is the amount of space the, the solid occupies. That was what the shape is talking about. Like for instance, if I have a bucket, like what I have here, like this bucket I have here. Now, if I fill this bucket with water, if I fill this bucket with water, now, the volume or the amount of water it holds, the amount of water it holds or it can hold, is referred to as the volume of this what? Bucket. Are you getting me? The amount yes, of water yes. this volume, this bucket can hold, is, is, is it's telling me about the volume of the what? Of the bucket. And that is the way with any container. The amount of substance a container can hold is its what? It is volume. The amount of substance that is inside it is its what? Volume. So now moving on. Now they said a solid is also said to be what? To be a three dimensional object. Or it is called a three dimensional object. That is the, a solid. Are you following me? So basically, we don't look for the volume of a plane shape. Now let's remember that we have plane shapes. Normally, and what are plane shapes? Plane shapes are what two dimensional words, objects like your square, like your rectangle, like your trapezium, like your circle. All those are plane shapes. We are done with that. Now we are looking at what solid shapes. Now, in the case of solid shapes, solid shapes are what three dimensional objects. They have what three dimension, meaning that they have a length, they have a breadth, and they have what? A, they have height. Now, common examples of solid to be what? To be, of solids to be measured are, to be measured are, we have the cube, we have cuboid, and we have right prism. Those are the three things we'll be looking at for this class. Now, I will say the common unit of measurement for volume of a shape or volume of shapes. So, how do we measure it? What unit? What's the appropriate unit to use to measure them? One of the units is what? Cubic millimeters. Another is what? Cubic centimeters, which is what we have mm cube, cm cube. And like when we are talking about area, you know, for area, it was square units, that is square millimeters, square centimeters, and square meters. Now, in the case of the volume, it is cubic, meaning raised to the power of three. Cubic millimeters, cubic centimeters, and cubic meters. Now, what is a cube? A cube is a solid shape with six equal faces, 12 edges, and what? And eight vertices. Now, what's the edge? This is the edge, this. This line here is your edge. Are you following me? So if you count the edges, because questions will be asked from there. If you count the edges that you have in the cube, they make upwards 12. You have 12 edges. That is the lines. These external lines are your edges. And then the vertices is the point where all of this meets. That is your vertices. You have a vertice here. You have another one hidden here. You have another vertice hidden here. So one year, one year, one year, one year, one year, and one year. So that's why we have what? Eight vertices. And of course, we have six faces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that is that or that. Now, so how do you calculate the volume of a cube? Now, remember that for a cube, all of the sides, all of the edges are equal. So now, how do you calculate the volume of a cube? The volume of a cube is what? L times L times L. That is L cube. That is how you calculate the volume of a cube. So in a way, you can say that what? A cube is square-like. Hmm? It's like a square. A square-like in nature. You can say a cube is square-like in nature. So now let's look at the next thing. 
That is what volume of a cuboid. Volume of a cuboid. I can rub this part off. Zubla. Huh? Zubla. Hmm? Stop talking. What is the volume of cubes? You surprise the teacher. The formula for volume of a cube is L times L times L. Length times length times length. So now, volume of a cuboid. Volume of a cuboid. So we're looking at the cuboid now. Now, in terms of your cuboid, cuboid is rectangular like. It's like a rectangular prism. So your cuboid is similar to your square. The cuboid is similar to your square. The only difference between a cuboid and a square is that a cuboid looks like a rectangle. Why a square looks like what? Is I mean, why a cube looks like what? A square. Your cuboid looks like a rectangle. Why your cuboid looks like what? Your cuboid is like a rectangle. Why your cube looks like a square? So it's the same thing, definitely it's the same definition. So the cuboid is a solid shape with six faces, six faces which are not necessarily equal. They are not equal. Six faces, six faces, with six faces. 12 edges, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Now, all sides are not equal. Hmm? The sides, the sides of the cuboid are not equal. The sides of the cuboid are not equal. So in this case, you have your, you have your height, you have your length, and you have your breadth or your width. So the volume of your cuboid, volume of cuboid is equals to length times breadth times height. Length times breadth times height. Length times breadth times height. If, okay. okay. I, I, I get to Come on, sit down. All right. So now let's solve some questions on it. Very simple questions. Very simple questions. All right. So they said calculate a very simple one. Calculate, calculate the volume. Calculate the volume. Calculate the volume of the rectangular of the rectangular tank with dimensions with dimensions. 25 cm by 20 cm by 10 cm 
as shown in the diagram below. As shown in the diagram below. As shown in the diagram below. So we have this. So of course this is a volume, I'm using a cuboid. And you're being asked to find the volume. So what do you do? That will be volume of shape is equal to length times breadth times height. And that will be what? 25 times 20 times 10. And of course that will give us 5,000. So I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, but you can hear my voice. This is the example. You're yeah, asked to calculate the volume of a rectangular tank with dimensions 25 cm by 20 cm by 10 cm. As shown in the diagram below. So I drew the diagram. The diagram you have there is a cuboid. It's a cuboid. And you have the dimensions there, 25, 20, and 10. Now, what do we do? They said the volume of the shape. That's going to be what? Length times breadth times height. And then from there, what do we do? We have that. <laughs> All right, girls, let's move on. Let's take a look at this other question. Now they said the volume of a cube, the volume of a cube, the volume of a cube. Is given as 512 centimeters cube. The volume of a cube is given as 512 centimeters cube. A. What is the length? What is the length of one edge? What is the length of one edge of the cube? And B, how many small cubes of edges 2 cm can be placed together to make this cube? So this question is a two-in-one question. This question is a two-in-one question. So what do we have? They say the volume of a cube is given as 512 centimeters cube. So that is the value of the volume of a cube. Now, A, they said, what is the length of one edge of the cube? B, how many small square cubes of edges 2 cm can be placed together to make this cube. So I believe it's quite explanatory. Now for to solve this question, the first thing we need to do is to get the value of the length 
of one side of the cube. Now remember, remember that since it's a cube, then all of the sides are equal. The six sides that you have are equal since it is a cube. So it's a volume solution, volume of the cube. Volume of the cube is equal to length times length times length. They are all equal. So in that case, that means since you've been given the volume of the cube to be 512, so that 512 is equal to what? L raised to the power of three. So that means I can still say that L raised to the power of three, because I want L to be on my left hand side anyway, is equals to, is equals to 512. So that would be L is equals to square root, I mean cube root, hmm? cube root of 512. And what's the cube root of 512? What's the cube root of 512? I'm waiting for an answer. Answer. Centimeters. So it means that one side is equal to what? Eight centimeters. Now, to the next question. So what that means is that if I were to draw out this cube, if I were to draw this cube, that would mean that that would mean that this is eight centimeters. This is eight centimeters, and this is eight centimeters. So now back to the second part of the question. The second part of the question, the second part of the question, the second part of the question said that what? How many small cubes of two centimeters would you would be placed inside? So meaning that how many cubes would be placed in of two centimeters? Like that, like that, like that, something like this. Like you're having small, 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 tiny cubes inside that is shape. So how many small, small, tiny cubes will be inside? It's very simple. All you just need to do is to get the volume of the tiny cubes. So the first thing B, the first thing we do is calculate the volume of the tiny cubes. And what would that be? So the volume of the tiny cubes, that will be V is equals to what? L times L times L, which is what? Two times two times two. That will be the V of the what? Of the tiny, of the tiny cubes. Are you following me? And that will give us eight centimeters. <clears throat> that will give us eight centimeters. Eight centimeters cube, sorry. Eight centimeters cube. So in that, what that means is that Every volume, every tiny cube, it means that each tiny cube is equal to eight centimeters cube. So that means in order for you to get the volume or the number of small tiny cubes in the big cube will be what? Number of tiny cubes will be volume of big cube or large cube, volume of large cube, all over volume of tiny cubes. So that would mean that I have, so the volume of large cube is 512, we know that already. So you divide it by what? Eight. 
So five and five centimeters cube all over eight centimeters cube. So now cube is thousand centimeters cube. So eight divided by five hundred and twelve that should give us sixty-four. So that means you have sixty-four tiny cubes. So that means sixty-four tiny cubes will be placed inside of this to form your five hundred and twelve centimeters cube. All right, so we'll be taking one last question before we call it a day. One final question before we call it a day. We'll be taking one final question before we call it a day. All right, girls. So let's take this question, this final question. Wow, we have less than four minutes. I hope we can, I hope we can pull it up. So the said a tank of water, a tank of water, a tank of water in the shape of a cuboid of a cuboid as a square base as a square base now if the depth if the depth of water in the tank is three meters high is three meters high full stop or comma calculate the volume, calculate the volume of the water inside the cuboid tank of three, sorry, calculate the width, calculate the width of the tank, calculate the width of the tank if the volume of water, if the volume of water is 243 meters cube. We have less than three minutes to complete this. So if we look at the question very well, they said a tank of water in the shape of a cuboid as a square base, if, the depth of water in the tank is three meters. Calculate the width. Calculate the width of the tank. So very simple. We have this. So they are trying to tell you that it is a square base, meaning that, meaning that, meaning that this is L and this is L, L and L. Are you getting me? This side and this side are equal. That's what it means. Since they say it's a square base. So that means these two are equal. Now they gave you this to be what? To be three meters. That is the depth or the height. It's three meters. So it's just this part and this part that are what? Square like. So that would mean, that would mean that the volume of the tank is equal to the length times length, that is the area of the base. Area of the base, area of the base, multiplied by what? The depth or the height, anyone you like. Depth or height. Area of the base will be L times L, and then the depth is what? It's three meters. Remember that the volume of the tank is 200 and what? 43. So that would mean that this is what? L squared, because L times L, Multiplied by three is equal to 200 and what? 43. I changed, I reversed the position. So that would mean that what? L squared is equal to 243 divided by three. 
L squared will be equal to 3 in 24. That is what? 8. And 3 in 3 is what? 1. So that means L is equal to square root of what? 81. And L is equal to what? 9 meters. So that means each, that means width of the tank is 9 meters. So if you want to check it, of course, that would mean 9 times 9 times 3, which would be what? 200 and what? 3. They tell you it is what? Correct. So, um, I want to believe we don't have any questions to ask. Please ensure you check your Google Classroom for your assignment. I'm sure you're giving an English assignment yesterday. Please check your Google Classroom. Those of you that are yet to join the Google Classroom, please join up. It's important. Um, Aliyah, why haven't you joined the Google Classroom?